the helper. How am I supposed to live the Christian life? You know, some have the misunderstanding that once we become believers, we can continue to live life on our own. I sometimes fall into that trap thinking that my abilities are sufficient. Consider your personal talents. You may possess great verbal or analytical or athletic skills, but be careful for those very strengths can become barriers to God's best. God's intention is not that we be self-sufficient, but that we live humbly submitted to Him in a close, dependent relationship. By now it should not surprise you that He didn't give you an impossible assignment. Rather, He made the surrendered life possible by sending His ongoing presence in the person of the Holy Spirit. The term Holy Spirit comes from the Greek word pneuma, which means breath or wind. As we receive the Holy Spirit the Father sends to us, we apprehend truth, sense evil, and are guided to do what's right. You will find Jesus' description of the Holy Spirit in John chapter 14, verses 16, 17, and 26. There you will meet him as lifelong counselor, helper, companion, teacher, and friend. Don't expect the Holy Spirit to come with great fanfare or dazzling brilliance. He works quietly, never intruding. He always points to Jesus, never to himself. When we are sensitive to his presence, he whispers in our ear and he tugs at our heart. He's committed to abide with us forever.